Hi, I'm Susie from Nail Care Education, and recently I was so lucky to get a chance to do the cover of Nails Magazine. I've been reading this for 30 years. So today I'm going to show you how I did that cover step by step with Natalie. Natalie's back. Say hi, Nat. Hi. Let's get started. So I removed all of Natalie's acrylic nails because with this design we have to start right from scratch. And I'll show you why. So I've already prepped, I've already primed, and now I'm going to just get down to business. I love Natalie's hands and fingers in particular because she has a very narrow smallish nail bed and it's actually quite long from here to here. Oh, so thanks, yeah. girl. <laughs> Not just a pretty face, it's your nails I'm oh, after. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Very sweet. <laughs> so you can use a stiletto form, but these will be quite long enough. For the magazine cover, I did use a stiletto form. With the spring flowers, I couldn't decide if I should do all of the colors on every nail, but we ended up doing one color per nail of a whole bunch of different spring colored flowers. So this will be my base color. It's just a soft pink color. Is this and a then, cover pink? Um, no, actually it's a very light pink and I'll show you the color. And then this is a clear, which of course encasing everything in the clear. Get me trusty old brush. I use an oval eight. That's my fave. So because this is embedded, if you're going to lay something down, it has to be incredibly, incredibly thin. You don't want any thickness whatsoever. So she's got a little bit of acrylic on here. I left somewhat of it on there. Okay, oh, liquid. Kind of a main ingredient. I love the jar. That is so Isn't that adorable? cute. <laughs> Max, where's Max's mine? Collection. I'm waiting for mine. That's adorable. I'm gonna take yours. <laughs> Check her purse when she leaves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I always put down some in the nail bed and especially at the cuticle area there. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bead and fill the cuticle area first. The reason I want to lay that down now is because all my flower and design will be going on top of that. So you want to get that out of the way. So I'm just blending this into the existing acrylic. Wow, that color match is bang on. Pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit in here, sort of like a ramp to the rest of the stiletto because you do have a bit of acrylic on there and I want my flowers to stick to something. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna lay this in, but this is so thin, I can't even tell you. It's like um, a thin layer of polish. Now the thinner acrylic is when it's laid out, the longer it takes to dry. So you've got some time for the flowers to stick to it. So I'm gonna grab a little bead of acrylic and I'm gonna pick up one of these flowers I'm gonna lay it right in. And these are real dried flowers. These are real dried flowers. That's so cool. Isn't that neat? Yeah, very neat. Do you have any tricks to when you're applying the flowers on because they're so delicate? You know, the, one of the biggest things is, see how they wanna pop up? Yes, yes. So you kinda gotta get the weight of the liquid on the petal and you can see how it pops up again? Right, right. So sometimes I'll get a little bit of acrylic. Lay it under and then try to be patient and hold the petal down while it kind of saturates and stays down. Eventually it'll just stay down. Right. And eventually it'll just dry. Okay. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, those are so cool. So let's put a little bit of acrylic under there. Try to coax them down. If I remember correctly when I was doing this, I kind of overdid some of the sparkle. Sometimes you get so excited to do sparkle and you can overdo it. So, oh my goodness. Now you can see why I overdid. Look, look at the color of that. Yeah, that That's is extraordinary. Stunning. That's so <laughs> pretty. Look at that. I'm gonna try to bring in some of that yellow. Oh. oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. It really complements the flowers. Sure does, doesn't it? I think I'm gonna bring that 
right down to the tip. Oh, gorgeous. And then maybe I'll bring that gold right down to the tip. So when I get a color like that, I just want to kind of do all of them in that one color. Because I just love it. Oh, this palette's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very spring. I think I'm going to bring a little bit of this up in here. Keep in mind, every time you add something like that, it has to be covered in a clear layer of acrylic, right? Otherwise, you'll file it away. I am going to put a little bit of bead of acrylic under here because that little petal is just sticking up. He's not staying down and I want him to stay down because if he sticks up and I put the clear over top when I'm filing it to make it shapely, that petal could be sticking up and I could mm, file the top of the petal Right, off. and then we'll lose the petal. That's right. Right, okay. Now I did bring these beads in, these gold beads, and I must use them. I've never seen them in gold. Oh, you haven't? No, nope, I've only oh. seen them in silver, so this is exciting. Look at that. Oh, wow. These I could get a little carried away with, so I'll have to try to be careful and control myself. <laughs> <laughs> so was this an exciting project for you? I was so excited. I actually used Natalie about a month before the actual shoot because I got the idea of what we're going to do. I didn't tell you what it was for. I know, you're so sneaky. Yes, I didn't tell anybody what it was for. Wondering what you're up to. Mm -hmm. That's what I was up to. You and your little studded glasses. <laughs> I see you. Yeah, so I did practice for a little bit just to make sure that I was getting all the elements that I wanted. And sometimes you don't know what's going to work unless you try it. Maybe we can try to put this sideways. Now what I'm trying to show is the slight, slight arch, but how thin this is. This is super thin. It's barely thicker than these beads. And these beads are thin. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna put a clear capping on top of this. So it's a big bead of clear. And remember that has to go back as far as the glitter. If you don't cover the glitter that you put on there, you'll just file it all off. So I have problems sometimes when I'm clear capping. I find that the clear acrylic will become frosty. Uh, it's almost like it's dried. What do you suggest? You know, to... Nat, that's a great question. Yeah. I'm glad you brought it up because I wouldn't have used the word frosty and yet that's exactly what it's doing. Yeah. Okay, so what's happening is you've got this big ball that you've, mm -hmm. you've put on. Okay, so let's. I'll just show you. I don't want to do it because it'll ruin it as you pointed out. So you put this, that's why sometimes I tap it and get all the dust off. Okay. So I will roll that on there. If that sits too long or has a part of dust that was not saturated with monomer, right? Yeah. by the time you flatten it and pull it over, if you got that frosty dried part mm -hmm. that's not been saturated, it'll roll over as you're doing mm -hmm. it and get caught under there. Right, no, that makes complete sense. Oh, and it's okay. really acrylic that has not been saturated by the monomer yet. It's the right. powder that has not touched the monomer. So do you suggest maybe holding it to, onto the brush for a little bit longer before placing it? Okay, let's see if we can do that. So even if we get a dust, let's say there's, okay, see there's dust, see that little dust? Yes, yeah. Make sure it's gone before you flatten or take um, some liquid okay. and flatten it first. Right, right. Because right. if you roll it in, as you notice, you can't get it out. Right, no, that makes late. sense, okay. That frosty is something you have to experience and mess up on before you understand why right. you don't want to do it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and then it's too late. And yeah. then you got one client walking around with that frosty patch. And you're like, oh, it looks mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> See, there's a bit of it there. Yes. Oh, okay. So yeah. take that away. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm rolling over it. Yeah. And I'm just hoping that the monomer itself will you know, solidify it, but yeah. it's, it's not. No. So that's what's creating that yeah. frosty look. You got it. Okay. All right. It's easy enough to make that mistake. Yes. We all do it. I mean, that's why I know what you're talking about because right. I've done it. That's a long nail. My goodness. It's a good <laughs> thing I didn't use the stiletto forms. <laughs> oh, my. Because I am going to be filing this mostly by hand. So sometimes I'll just take a little bead and just fill in any little bumps and just make it nice and smooth. Now whenever you're clear capping of course it always goes a little bit cloudy and then it makes your whole design look miserable. <laughs> <laughs> can freak a client out because they're like oh I thought it was gonna look shinier than that. 
I think I'm going to do pink next to this one. I really do take a long time to form. Your form is not perfect. Let's face it, it's your foundation. I remember when we did form boot camp. Yeah. I think we went through about 20 That's forms right. until I finally got it right. You said you'd never done that before. No, no, mm. I've always just kind of winged it. So that was, yeah, yeah that That's was... an eye-opener for you then. It really was. And I 100% suggest doing it at home. Yeah. Just go for it. Yeah. Form placement is crucial. Mm -hmm. I just can't get over that eternal beige. Yes, yeah. just it is a beautiful yeah. color. It really matches. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Really good for inlays. Mm -hmm. Remember I just sort of threw the flowers on. This time I'm going to put a little bit of a pink base down. Rather than a clear base, we'll do a pink base. That'll be easier to see too. Oh, there's one long hair that's sticking out. Just pluck it. Any tips you have for working with colored acrylic? Colored acrylic is uh, usually highly pigmented and not meant for strength. Okay. So when you work with it, definitely clear cap it. Okay because it, it will break. I learned the hard way on that. This is like bubble gum, isn't it? Oh yeah. Very, very thin layer here. I mean, you can do this with any shape and any design. I just chose the stiletto for a cover because I wanted as much nail estate as possible. Did you just say nail estate? Yeah, I did. Nail estate. That is so cute. You didn't hear me say that before? No, I have it's not. Fun. I'm sure I've said it at the shop, but maybe when I'm teaching and you're not there. Yes, must be. Yeah. Oh, cute. It's so pretty. Yes. But it's a big flower and mm -hmm. he's going to be stubborn. So I'm going to try to saturate it as much as I can. Oh, those colors together. Wait till Grant sees my nails. <laughs> oh. You and Grant are pretty neck and neck on Instagram. We are, aren't we? And if you're watching this, Grant, I'm still beating you. <laughs> oh, them fighting words to Grant. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. If Grant was here, he would go, butternuts. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he would do. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that everything? Yes. I can't wait to get the beads in there. Yes. I do like putting my big flowers, if you noticed, in that lower part of the arch because that is the highest part of where the nail is. So I can, I know that it's going to be relatively thicker across the arch. So I've run out of my lighter colored flowers, so I think I'm going to actually do a lot of beads in this one. Yeah. That's where I think I'm going. Yeah, because that's a little too orange. Yeah. So let's throw some... Oh, 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 oh. Hang on to your panties. Look <laughs> at this. My panties are hanging on. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. <laughs> Look at this. It's like shaped like little stop signs. You guys, oh, do you see pretty, that? Yes. Just like kind of reflects yeah. over the light. It's not yes. super shimmery. No. Very and Sometimes cool. you see it, sometimes you don't. Yeah. No, it's perfect. So that adds a nice yeah. dimension. Oh, 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 oh. And... This is my little go-to sparkle. Whenever I need a sparkle, but that's kind of almost colorless, I'll add this guy. Beautiful. This is nice and thin, so you can get this up near the cuticle. Okay, I'm gonna just take this off because I always find forms to be annoying when they're when they're just sitting there, you know? Oh yeah. <gasps> okay, so I'm gonna get some bead action going here. Oh, yeah. It blends with the Mylar really well. Right. Maybe I'll try some of the darker beads down near the tip. As Jenna Marbles would say, Susie girl! <laughs> that girl is so funny. Oh my god, I love her. So I am noticing that I am a little lopsided. I don't have hardly any beads right here. I'm favoring the one side. I 
think we tend to do that if we're right-handed we tend to favor the right side yes for sure and so on If you've got beads that are kind of just kind of vicariously placed and they're not, you're not sure if they're stuck, try to put the bead right on top and let the bead sort of engulf it. You might get away with not actually relocating them. Oh, okay. So you, so you mean like they may slide when you're pressing mm -hmm. the acrylic? You got it. Oh, okay. it might take just to do the last little bit of the stiletto. Okay, so now we're going to figure out what color scheme we're going to do on the other ones. So this one we're going to do the turquoise acrylic pigment. Oh, it is really pretty. Oh, that is pretty. I'm excited to see the shimmery blue glitter you have here. She's talking about these sparkles right here. I'm going to put them on right now. That's pretty. Oh, and to lighten wow. it even more. I'm going to put a clear end, I think, a clear tip. Yeah. It's very trendy. Is it? Yes. Starting to see it slowly. Oh, okay. Yep. Very trendy. And then I'm going to stick some sparkles. get a bead of clear. I'm going to put this right up in there and then I'm going to pick up me flower. Oh look at that. Concerned for you there with that flower because my pinky Stick is so up. little, but yeah, right. you managed to slay the beast. <laughs> and I'm going to put some sparkles around it so because so you can see some definition of where the flower ends and begins. I see a little petal over here. I'm just going to grab this petal and this petal. Okay, now I gotta get some beads in here. That is the longest pinky of my life. <laughs> That's pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay, can't forget the left side. When I was getting the idea to do the cover for this, they said that I was gonna get the May cover. So I was kind of thinking May, spring, you know, flowers. That's why I thought of the flowers. Perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, I've admired this magazine for 30 years and I've always read it and stuff. And obviously as an artist, you always like, oh, it'd be so cool to get the cover. See, there's that powdery look. Did you see what I just did there? Yes. I had to wipe that away because that powder could have just made it look terrible. Sometimes you, you just don't even notice it and then it's too late and it's buried under there. Mm -hmm, no, for sure. And you're pulling your hair out. You'd be careful of this too, if it, if it dries up near the end, Why as that? you're pulling it away, mm -hmm. and it could roll over onto itself and do the exact same thing. It was an exciting experience to go to the Nails Magazine studio in Los Angeles. Oh, nice Kim, Erica, Danielle, Beth were so sweet to work with. I really enjoyed watching the creative process at Nails Magazine. Did you have a room and did it say Susie? No. No? <laughs> well then. <laughs> of course not. So Nat's fingers are very, very long and narrow and they're very, very pointy almost in here. So sometimes I will, you know, some people call it rolling the form, but sometimes I'll squish it together and sort of get a little bit of a bend in the paper so it can more easily slide in under there. And I mean, these forms really fit her quite nicely, like a glove really. I'm going to go in right with some of the purple color. 
It's really, really nice. Oh, look at that. Really wow. strong, pigmented purple. Very pigmented. I'm gonna get some of the lighter purple in here too. Look at that, I like that. I don't have a lot of purple flowers, so I'm gonna try to fake it a little. Actually, I don't find purple as a huge color, like pink is saturated in the industry, or red. Yes, red, yeah. There's not a lot of purple, even mm -hmm. like acrylic colors, I don't find there's a ton of purple. There are some purplish leaves. There we go. It's pretty. Yeah. Here's this purple flower here. And because of this purple sparkle, I thought I would take advantage and really purple it up. I thought this would really kind of take away some of the lack of purple flower. You might not notice it so much. <laughs> some beads in here. I think this might be the nicer bead. A frosty purple. Mm-hmm. That might look really pretty. And maybe I'll even take a few of these little mylars. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you may not have everything that you want, but sometimes you can fake your way through it, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get away with a few more beads up in here. Maybe a couple in here to balance it. Now we just want to clear cap that. And I think the thumb will just do a whole bunch of the colors mm -hmm. combined together on the Good thumb. idea. When did you start getting nails, Nat? I think it was like 12. <laughs> like fake nails? Yeah. I was in the West Edmonton Mall with my mom and we were walking through and she said, oh, do you want to get your nails painted? And I was like, okay, sounds great. And I guess they must have misunderstood what my mom actually meant. You ended up getting like acrylic nails? Oh, she comes back and I've got tips on and she was like, you know what? It's already on, it's too late. And too bad for her because I fell in love with nails oh, and yeah. ever since 12 then. 12 years old. Yeah. What 12 so. year old wouldn't? That question is a question I get an awful lot, is how young can you be to have this? And I don't think it really is a matter of, you have to be a certain age to wear the product. It really is just a matter of, can you get there to the, to the mall or to the store to get your nails? Or Absolutely. Can you afford to pay for it? Yes, <laughs> yes. I am gonna go um, to my grave with acrylic nails. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I already know the set I want. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> And what set would that be? Um, a ridiculous amount of bling. Might as well go right. out go out with a show. <laughs> right? That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That's kind of cute. Yeah, that's like cute. That. I like that too. And then I'm just gonna put some beads and glitter in about thing I'm anticipating about this whole set are the photos. Oh yes, definitely. That's one thing Caramel and I really do like doing is doing the photos at the end. It's really a lot of fun. Oh yeah, there, there's that color melt. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go, yeah. Actually that blended quite Perfect. a bit nicer yeah. than I thought it was going to. Oh it's no, it's be a perfect. Mess. Everything you touch turns to gold. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty. I like it. Yeah, that's gorgeous. See how I 
just kind of swooped around and took all that frosty stuff away just in case so that powder doesn't end up underneath this clump of clear. Also too, another way you can get that kind of weird, horrible, frosty look that you're talking about mm -hmm. is yep. if you take too long to spread out your clear bead. Mm. That can also, because you're trying to pull right. a half dried bead right. and then you can pull it and then you'll have a rough edge and that'll create that kind of a white frosted edge. Mm. That's another icky way you can get it. I think I just need to be more patient when applying it instead of rushing, you Right, know? yeah. Yeah, you work pretty quick, I Again, noticed, too which is great. But too carried away sometimes. But it's hard when you're working in the day and you've got people booked back to back. Yes. It's really hard. So I'm excited we're gonna file these up. I'm gonna wear a mask because it's a lot of filing. Just filing off little scraggly ends, which could be filed off with a hand file just as easy. Okay, so now I'm just going to start hand filing this. Probably the biggest tip is, mm -hmm. as, as you know, I hold the nail bed when you're filing something so long. I actually did not know that. You didn't know nope, that? Nope, I did not oh, know that. That was honest of you to admit that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't normally do. This long. But yeah. even I find if I'm doing a long coffin or a long yeah. moment, if you file it, like feel that. Feel, oh, yeah. Oh, that doesn't feel good. Oh. So if you hold the nail plate like that. Right. And then go at it. Sorry to all my clients. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a big difference, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's good to be a client sometimes. Yeah. No, definitely. And then you sort of get an understanding of what they're feeling. Now I'm going to file these actually quite pointy. And when you're filing a stiletto, it's a lot to do with just the angle of your file. It's basically just this way <laughs> and this way and on the top this way and that way, and then around your cuticle. <laughs> I'm gonna go super pointy okay. just for the photos, <laughs> and then we can blunt them up a little bit after she finds they're a bit too pointy. Okay, so I'm just gonna attack this thumb, and I'm gonna finish all the filing points, and then we're going to top coat it and take some pictures. Oh, nothing like top coat to bring it to life, mm -hmm. eh? There's that orange sparkle. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, that's absolutely stunning. And you know, look at this thumb. I know we kind of were just winging it, but it's really turned out pretty good. Honestly, I think that's my favorite one. You think you like this yeah, one? Yeah, I really do. It just has so much dynamic right, to it. Right, okay. You know, so many layers, the colors blend perfectly. You could have made them all that yeah. way. Yeah, I think if I got this set next time, that's what I would do. Yeah, just put it flat. Okay, let's check out the reveal shots. Well, I must say, I mean, as a perfectionist, I can see things that I would like to do differently, but overall, those are pretty cool. I think they're perfect. Yeah. They are seriously they're stunning. Do they feel weird? They feel amazing, but weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see how long she can go with these. You can follow Natalie on Instagram. What's your Instagram? It's Flawless Nails by Nat. And I'm Nail Care Education, and we'll have links in the description below. But you'll be able to follow and see how well she's doing with these new nails, <laughs> along with her beautiful long new hair. Nails Magazine has a behind-the-scenes video of my cover shoot. There's a link in the description below. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.